Rachel. Hi, Kennedy. I'm going to ask you some questions discussing the AP course. Okay. Um, discuss your outlook on the AP course prior to enrolling in it. What are your expe expectations? Um, at first, I thought I didn't want to do it because there was a summer assignment. I didn't understand anything about it, and I was like, this is going to be stupid because I don't even know what these words are saying. I can't comprehend this what I'm reading, you know, I don't know what rhetoric is, I have no idea. And the book that we read, Catcher in the Rye, it was kind of hard to understand at first because you had to kind of like grasp, grasp the concept the concept of the whole book. And I was just really discouraged at first and didn't think I could do it. Discuss the summer assignment. What are you, were you active or passive in understanding the requirements? Um, I tried to be active about it, like I, re I kind of researched rhetoric and tried to figure out what it was, but in the prompt that they give us, tried to figure out what that was saying, and I ended up getting the prompt, but um, the other essay, the analysis about the, the um, book, I really didn't get, and um, it was really difficult for me, and even finishing the book was kind of difficult for me because it was really boring to me, um, so, yeah. Okay. Discuss your personal learning curve. What was your biggest challenges and what have, what were your fears? Have you had any successes? Um, I have had one specific success and it was um, to not take the final last semester. We had to get an 84 in the class, which to an AP student, it's like, oh, an 84, you know, B, that's, that's going to that's gonna be easy, you know, because we do all of our homework, we get good grades, you know, but in this class, it's, it's kind of hard, honestly, and I was right at that B minus, like a, I had an 81%, and the essay was I had to get a 50 or an 84 on it to get an 84 in the class, which was and not take the final, and I ended up getting an 84 um, percent on it exactly, which really bumped my grade up, and I didn't have to take the final, and um, but I did have a lot of fears, such as like the all the writing and the essays we had to do the different kind of essays. Um, when I was a sophomore, I learned that the five paragraph essay, when you get, you have a thesis and then you have three main points and you have a conclusion paragraph and when you enter this class, that's thrown out the window. You don't, it's none of that and that was very foreign to me and I just, it was hard to grasp at the beginning. Okay. <clears throat> Discuss your involvement as a student. What have you ultimately gained from this course and what do you feel someone can take with them? Um. Coming into this class, you have to be able, you have to know you're going to work hard and know your expectations for yourself because it's a hard course and you have to, you have to work hard to get it. It's not going to be an easy A. It's not going to be an easy B even. So uh, my, I forgot the question, I'm sorry. Can you say it again? <laughs> what do you ultimately gain from this course and what do you feel someone can take with them? Okay. So what you can take with it, with your you when you leave this course is that life is going to throw cur curveballs at you. You're not going to know what you're doing at first and then but once you get the hang of things, don't give up. Just stick with it and once you get the hang of things, everything will be fine and ju it's just going to take a little work. Okay. What advice would you give to an incoming sophomore who are contemplating about taking the course? What lasting words could you provide to them that could assist them to make the right decisions for next year? If you want to be challenged and you want to learn things that's going to help you in college and throughout life, then I'd definitely um, tell you to take this course because it's, it's a big step uh, whenever you're, you're a junior, you know, next year you're taking the SATs, you're going to go to college, and this course is kind of, it feels a college course because you don't know anything when you're, go, when you're going into it pretty much. And, all, all you've learned about writing before this course is out the window. Like I said, the five paragraph essay, that does not exist in this course. So just be willing to work and it's a really good class to take and Ms. Robinson's a really funny teacher and uh, I like that he um, just makes the class fun for everyone and it's not boring at all. So if you're willing to work and want a fun time, then take the class. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Ken. <laughs>